everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sidelines. Last game for the Timberwolves. It was a loss. And that does your confidence, guys. No favor. They got manhandled in that one. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending obviously in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. And you look at how these teams match up, Clark. The guard positions posting plenty of talent. And you think about it, Kevin, the skill level of today's players arguably at an all-time high. But nothing like guard skills to help you put on the show. And Minnesota has possession after the basket by Boston. Pass to Edwards. Down to five on the shot clock. Minnesota needs to get off the shot here. Towns. Wow. That sharp awareness of Towns. Clock running out. He just beats it. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. The kick out to Brown. Gobert with the block. So good at finding these swats. Gobert loves reaching out and sending them away. Inside Towns. That's to McDaniels. Conley with it. Towns, the screen. Inside. And stolen by Tatum. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. Brown outside. Into the lane. You know, Brown really forced the issue there on the drive, making sure that he drew contact. And break a massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer for a time the richest in NBA history. Man, you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles with Tatum and Brown. The Celtics had that opportunity. Pass to Edwards. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Them. Six to shoot. To the middle. There's no bear. This is what the team relies on Gobert for. Clearing the glass and finishing the play. Down low. And the dunk by Tatum. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. For three, Edwards. Trains the three-pointer. Edwards got five points so far. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. The shot by Holiday, no good. And he didn't have a single coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Edwards with it. Out guarded by Porzingis. Back to Edwards. Four on the shot clock. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards going in town with boys. Get this guy in the dunk contest. Now, here's Tatum. Hard to imagine, but the stats are tremendous as he averages close to 27 points again. Go there with the ball. And they'll keep possession. The shot by Holiday, no good. Timberwolves leading by four. Outside Edwards. Kicks it off the glass. Ten points in the game so far. Built like a linebacker, Edwards is not your average off guard, folks. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Oh, here's Edwards. Following the shot by Drew Holiday. Nice play, and you can see 
they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. There's Persingas. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Outside, Towns. Over in the corner, Edwards. The kick out to Towns. Back to Edwards. The free ball. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics thrill by eight. And the dunk by Persingas. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. Conley left side. The kick out to town. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising. the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one well when you control the glass when you control the second chance opportunities on both ends and you know their rebounding advantage has been glaring simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter getting the latest now from our sideline reporter David Aldridge David it's all yours take it away Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David thanks. Picked by Horford. It's Brown with the drive. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And Brown really is at his best when he takes it inside. The defense has no idea what to do with it. Pass to Alexander Walker. Outside, Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. And here's Morris for three. Al Horford with the rebound. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Timeout, timeout. Break, take a look at Monte Morris for a second. You've got to be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second round pick to a seasoned NBA player, Morris never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. Stolen by Holiday. There's Porzingis. Here he goes. Once Porzingis gets some momentum, just get out of the way. Minnesota with the ball. First chance of the season for them to go up against the Celtics team. Down to the screen. After Alexander Walker. Taken away by Holiday. And they're on the break. Loose. So it's the Timberwolves now. Outside, Towns. Trains it from beyond the arc. Towns is going to get five minutes. It's a real challenge, a major challenge to face a big man who can shoot like Towns can. He stretches the floor as well as any big guy in the league. Back to Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players 
in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts to that point. Holiday goes out. And it's slammed in by Holiday. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. Outside Conley. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Tatum. Brown wide open. He fired. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Brown's got the lead up to two now for the Celtics. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It'll be a jump ball. To be careful around Tatum now. If you're not paying attention, he'll take that ball away from you quickly. Minnesota calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, right? This timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrated for the first time to send Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of another game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Almost automatic there. Didn't wait too long to put that shot up. Here's Holiday. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Jaden McDaniel. And when we talk about the league's outlets defenders, Holiday is certainly up there. Yeah, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, I think it's a lot to do with how much pride he takes in playing defense. I mean, he's locked into shutting down whoever he's defending. He looks at it as a challenge, and I really appreciate and respect his hard-nosed approach. For three, Edwards. No points there, only his third miss and ten attempts from the floor. Celtics passing it around. Here's Tatum. Graceful quarter by Tatum. Boy. Have they gotten hot here in the second quarter? No wonder they're in front. I don't know if this field goal percentage is sustainable, but if they can stay close to what they've done in shooting the ball, they'll, they'll run away with this one. Edwards, that's good. They'll be with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Man, I love watching Tatum break down the defense in the pick and roll, exploits any passing lane that's available to him. Edwards with it. Over Holiday. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Celtics. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now up in front with momentum behind them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Watch out. Tatum's going to stretch the defense all over the place if he's knocking down threes from the corner. Go there, the screen. It's Edwards on the wing. Shot clock at five. And shot is good that time. Nine points for Carl Anthony Towns. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest and may show everything. Kevin? You know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint there. 
no doubt Greg Jason Tatum is an all NBA player and this guy continues to improve and JT scoring average in Casey in each of his first five seasons I just love how he gets to the line more being more aggressive Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old and here's Prisenius for a three the kick out to Tatum over Conley, and nothing but hair on that one. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. It's good. Carl Anthony Towns finishing through contact there. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Towns. Up top, Edwards. Conley with it. He's covered by Brown. To the inside. Towns. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Now just a three-point Boston lead. Here's Tatum. Minnesota with the rebound. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. They get a bill. Out to Edwards. by Tatum. And look at Tatum turning up the defensive intensity, outworking the shooter. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Minnesota calls timeout. Timberwolves trail for by six. Outside Conley to the paint. The kick out to Anderson. Outside Conley. Five to shoot. Has to go bare. Outside Edwards. Sinks the three-pointer. Edwards got 22 points. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. And great the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity. I think they clearly feel though they have unfinished business. Well, they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. Inside! Tatum. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Outside, Edwards. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. Now, now the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. And also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. The shooting's been great, but also how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. Conley feeling it out. At the elbow, it's Gobert. Here is Edwards. He's got 23. And here's Conley outside. Back to Edwards. For the lead. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 in the game. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. To the inside. And slammed in by Holiday. Rise up, Drew. He's a big guard, folks. Holiday is physical, too. No one hit records as he lets it fall. And he gets it back. With one on the clock. And it's in there. Towns has got eight points here in this quarter. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Both teams get it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes. That's fine. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be in a Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure, for more pressure than basketball. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Edwards. Back to Conley. 
And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And it's six points for Mike Conner. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards getting better at improving his overall floor awareness. Nice to see. Here's Brown. Craving in time. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And it's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass to Edwards. Fires the three. in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. That one goes in. Holiday's got the game tied up here for Boston. You know, Holiday is one of those rare guards who's as physical as any other player on the floor. Holiday busting it up inside. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on a roll and knock him down. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. Back to Edwards, and Edwards with the stop. And we all know how explosive Edwards can be. Reminded us there with that thunder slam. Outside Conley, back to Edwards. Has to go bare. Now Conley. The kick out to town. Clock is at three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on for Zingas. That free throw missing. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall height. He has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that stat. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Minnesota calls timeout. Hey guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. He loves what they're doing. He said, if they're not stopping us, keep doing it. Keep going after it down low. We'll keep pounding it inside, guys. Thanks so much, David. Back to Brown. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator this far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Morris into the lane. Three misses. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And Morris pulls it down. Just a humongous fourth quarter for him, especially from long range. He just really grew with the next play. That's good depth. You love how he saw has risen to the challenge throughout this game. Defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Puts the game in the spot in your Showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense. They feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Basket counts. That's a terrific play and a good sign. This team needs Porzingis to facilitate as well as score the ball. In the corner, it's Morris. And he drives in. Towers for three. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Just the second half. The wide open look here 
for Hunter. Carries it from outside. Dependable performance from Holiday. So reliable. This is a guy who is unshakable by the high stakes in that situation. You can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that. Oh! That's exactly why they turned the poor Zinkers here, guys. They trust him to step up in big moments. Town. Outside Edward. Now Reed. And a wide open shot for Morris. It counts. And he has put them to within two points. And so far in the second. What a job! Tatum doing it with style. And Tatum continues to evolve before our eyes, showing. Excellent leadership by knocking down these clutch shots. Minnesota calls timeout. They're behind by four. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Minnesota making the switch. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off holiday. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. And another turnover for the Celtics. Takes a three. That shot off the mark. Can't waste any time here. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick foul. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That's his first foul. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Conley shot is off. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Yes! 